Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor DLC. Today, we are adventuring to one of the two towers offered to us. One of them was the Water Tower and the other was the Dark Tower, both of which will give our Cub Fu some kind of upgrade, but we can only choose one. And I was thinking about it, I think that our best option will probably be the Water Tower, the Tower of Waters, because the other one is the Tower of Darkness. And while that sounds awesome, I don't feel sort of safe with that because we don't really have any Pokemon that are good against dark types. So I think we're doing um, the Tower of Waters. We're going to go against Pokemon along the way so that we can continue to train Cubfu because I don't know really how this works um, in terms of like, hey, you know, you can um, only take Cubfu or maybe you just have to battle with Cubfu only. I don't really know. Um, so that's where I'm a little curious, a little concerned. So we'll just try this out and see how it goes. So we have uh, Cubfu out here. Obviously, we can't fight Jigglypuff with that, but we're just gonna be doing some battles. If I see some new Pokemon, I will go for them today, so that'll be fun. Um, I'm not gonna go super crazy with it, but just enough that we can get Kubfu some more experience. He's already level 20. He jumped from level 10 to level 20 after catching just one Pokemon last episode. So I think there's a lot we can do here for him. So Jigglypuff's gonna use Double Edge, which doesn't do much damage to us, so that's good. So we can use this Steel-type move, Steel Wing. And that should be potentially a one hit takedown. Indeed it is, super effective. Very nice to see that. And Jigglypuff ain't it. So there we go, let's see how many level ups that'll be for Kubfu this time, jumping from level 20 to 23. All right, so it's not gonna be as crazy this time, but we'll keep working on that. If we see new Pokemon, we'll catch them for sure and that'll help too. Um, and that's just sort of what we gotta keep up with. It should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, actually, are you, you one of the ones for the yeah, hi, I came from a different region. What Galarian Pokemon do you want now? Stunfisk. I do have a Galarian Stunfisk, for sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Uh, <laughs> uh, but is that how to order? Yes, it is. I'll have to figure all this out soon, because I think everything's starting to fall apart from my ordering. Either way, Stunfisk is right over this way, box number eight. And I think it'll just give me a normal Stunfisk, if that's true, I guess we'll find out. So there we go. Sending this to Regina. And let's see what we get in return. Just a normal Stunfisk, or maybe this is an Alolan. It might be. All right, send over Stunfisk. Very cool. I think this one's less creepy at the least. It's, it's still creepy, but less creepy. This is amazing, I will treasure it forever. Pokemon really are amazing, aren't they? Um, yes, they are. So I'm glad that we're getting more um, Pokemon from different regions and stuff. Is she just gonna pop o over on the side? No, she's not. So we see her again. We'll, of course, offer her up a trade but what more can we do around here? Um, once again, I'm sure there's some new Pokemon around. Is this gonna be one of them? Oh, this is so cute, it's a Fomantis. I've not seen this one before. I like its little uh, sort of pastel colors. So we're definitely gonna throw out a quick ball right away for this one, of course, level 60 still. So we're a far ways off from, you know, Cubfu being able to fight any of these, but that's sort of the fun of it, right? Um, so here's a quick ball. I sort of went the long way around for that one. Oh, and it's a critical throw. So it should be good. I really hope it's an immediate catch. And indeed it is, Fomantis was caught. Cool. So there we go. That's some extra experience for everybody, but a bunch for Kubfu specifically. Um, Brick Break. Let's see this one then. Brick Break is a fighting type move. The user attacks with a swift chop. It can also break barriers such as light screen and reflect. Oh, that sounds great. So we're gonna put that over, I think, Endure. I don't think we need Endure too much. Um, so there we go, one, two, and ta-da. Kubfu learned Endure. So now he's leveling up a lot slower. He's only level 24. Uh, but anyways, let's learn some information about Fomantis. Um, sickle grass Pokemon grass type. During the day, Fomantis basks in sunlight and sleeps peacefully. It wakes and moves around at night. Interesting. Um, no nickname for Fomantis. I'm just gonna send you to a box. And what else do we got going on around here? Um, is this just a Scruppy? I think so. So we don't have to worry about uh, getting you too much. I'll just battle you, because we, we got one back at home, I'm pretty sure. We'll find out in a second. So yep, level 60, we're gonna switch over. What is super effective against it that we actually have? So we have like flying type, I'm guessing it's a bug type then. Or we could try dot, we haven't played with dot in so long. Let's go ahead and give this a go. I feel bad. But we do have her gi Gigantamaxable now, so that is something I'll be showcasing at some point. So Scruffy used Acupressure here. Wow. Um, and 
Let's fight. And we're just going to do Flame Charge for right now. Should be a one-hit takedown. I, I'd expect. Boom. Indeed it is. Cool. So that should be some decent experience for um, for Cub Fu again. Wow, yep, jumping up to level 25. If we could get him to level 30 by the time we get him over to the dojo, that would be great, I think. Um, seeing a lot of repeatable Pokemon. We'll go against, you know, Tretinol here. We already have him, obviously, on our team even. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and bring Jazzy out, I guess. Well, actually, maybe that wouldn't be the best idea. Maybe should have thought about that. Let's switch over Pokemon though. We have something that's gotta be super effective. Um, yeah, I guess Tom's own move would be super effective against him. Um, but we could also use Dot's Revenge. Um, and okay, this still counts as super effective. So yeah, we'll just get Jazzy out here. Should be easy enough then. Cause I'm pretty sure that Tom's a water ground type, right? Dreadnought, I'm pretty sure. Um, either way, not too bad. We can handle that. Fight and super effective spark. Nice, okay, pretty easy. And there goes that treadmill. So it's just all supposed to be extra experience for Cub Fu and it's working out quite well. I mean, he's getting a couple level ups each time. Wants to learn detect, he learned so many moves, it's crazy. Detect is another fighting type move. This move enables the user to protect itself from all attacks. Its chance of failing rises if it's used in succession. Hmm. I think, I think over focus energy. I think that sounds like a good idea. Okay, so we have a good like defense here for sure. And we're just gonna keep moving. If I see anything new like this this thing, I keep seeing popping up everywhere. Oh, it's so cute. It looks like it has a little dress. Lil Liligan. I guess like elegant, Liligan. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just try to get this, get this, the, this thing right away, throw out that quick ball. Come on now. Oh, another critical throw. Wow, that's good. So boom, an immediate catch. I don't know if that's actually the evolution of what we just caught. I guess we'll find out eventually. But that is gonna be level 30 for Cub Fu. Cool stuff there. And as you can see, data will be added to the Pokedex. Flowering Pokemon, grass type. Essential oils made from Lilligan's flowers have a sublime scent, but they're also staggeringly expensive. <laughs> Um, oh wait, I didn't mean the nickname. There we go, it's gonna send you to a box. Very cool, another one for the uh, collection. Not seeing anything new here. The new catches give us so much experience. There's another Um, We'll get some extra watts, sure why not. And maybe if we look around the tall grass into the exclamation marks, that'd probably help. Um, there we go, I got something. It's gonna be, oh hey, look at you, you're a shelmet. <laughs> so I, I, a shell with a helmet. I like it. So, we're once again quickly gonna throw out a Pokeball here. So he's already jumped another 10 levels in today's episode, but what is with the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back critical throws? What am I doing? I don't know. I, I'm, I appreciate it, though. So, um, we're getting some experience points. That's just getting, gonna get him one level up, though. I'm getting a bit worried about that. Either way, Shaman State will be added to the Pokedex. It is a snail Pokemon bug type. It has a strange physiology that responds to electricity. When together with Carablast, Shaman evolves for some reason. Huh, interesting. Um, not for right now, but um, not also, also not what I wanted. Uh, we will work on, of course, evolving Pokemon and doing all that kind of stuff soon enough. But for right now, we're fine without it. Um, we do have a couple of items. Armorite or Bag of Stardust, and you. I did not catch you before. I'm gonna catch you now, it's a Fletchinder. I like it. Oh, is it like a Firebird? Like Fletch Tinder almost? Fletchinder? Let's just try to catch it again. Oh boy. It's another critical, what is going on? Is this something with Cub Fu? I don't know. Either way, Fletchinder was caught. Easy stuff going on right now. I like it. Um. So another level up, almost level 33. He's learning bulk up now, um, which is a fighting type move. The user tenses his muscles to bulk up its body using both attack and defense stats. I don't think I need it. Um, we have all these other moves right now. Unless I want to, I don't know, this move doesn't do a lot. Like Rock Smash is only 40 damage. I think I'd prefer, of course, to use Brick Break. Um, so maybe we'll just put this over that. Maybe that'll actually work out a little bit better. 
Okay, so there we go, got that done. And we're just gonna keep moving. Let's see uh, Fletchinder's addition to the Pokedex now. Ember Pokemon Fire Flying. Fletchinder are exceedingly territorial and aggressive. These Pokemon fight among amongst themselves over feeding grounds. Interesting. So, with that done, what else do we got going on around here? Oh, here we go. Is this like a little necklace Pokemon? What is going on with this? It's cute, but it's weird. It's a comfy. Okay, wasn't this in Sun and Moon, maybe? I don't remember. Either way, we're just gonna throw out another quick ball and see if we can't get another critical throw. Oh, the streak has been broken. But can we get you? Oh, you jump out. Oh no, they're gonna be using Play Rough now. And this is where things, oh no! Kung Fu, I'm sorry. We'll use a revival on you pronto. Um, use next Pokemon. So I don't know what's gonna be good against you. I think that will be fine. Um, I'm gonna use a revival on him right away so that he can actually get the experience from this battle. It's still very important to do that. So first off, not, not that, I'm gonna go to bag and we are going to use, not a max revive, we don't need that very much. Use an item, um, boom. There we go. Because I guess it used the um, fairy type move there, which is actually super effective against fighting, I suppose. Sweet scent, not good. Um, why did we just pop into existence there for a second? That was weird. Um, so I don't know what I want to do against you so that I can actually damage you down, because a lot of these moves are very damaging. I mean, I could try revenge, I don't think it would do very much damage, which is why I'm tempted. Um, okay, we'll try it. Grassy terrain. Okay, so that's gonna change the arena, really. That's good to know about all that, I guess. Uh, so let's just use revenge and see how much damage it does. Not much, but that's sort of what I want, like I said. So they get to heal up is the only worry. Cause I'm guessing they're probably a grass fairy type, so we don't want to use any fire moves because it would take them out real fast with our level advantage. Um, but their moves aren't very effective either. Oh, got into the yellow. So now's the time to try an ultra ball. And we get the heal too, so I guess that just happens. Oh, but you're also getting healed. Just don't get back into the green. Okay, you're good. Um, so, not a quick ball, but an ultra ball. Come on now. Ooh. Please. Yes. So there we go. Another new Pokemon, Comfy. So we've already caught all sorts of new Pokemon today. Isn't that cool? Um, we're going to get this Pokedex done in no time, but level 34 for Cub now. And let's see what the Pokedex has to say about Comfy. Uh, Posy Picker Pokemon. Fairy type. These Pokemon smell very nice. All Comfy wear different flowers. Uh, so each of these Pokemon has its own individual scent. That's cute. Um, so no nickname for you. I'm just gonna send you to a box, but glad we got a new one. So I'm just gonna keep going this way as we make our way over. So now you, I already have, but I can battle you without too much of an issue. If I switch over to Dot again and just do a fire type move, should take you out really quickly. Very cute Pokemon. One of my favorite new ones we've seen so far. But this definitely is helping with getting Cub Fu some level ups. I don't know exactly what level we need Cub Fu to be, but hopefully we're getting there, obviously. Um, so yeah, let's give this a go. That's gonna head out here now. And they're gonna use Helping Hand, but it failed. So, fight, flame charge, pretty easy just to do this. And it's a one hit takedown, beautiful. So there we go. And that is going to be level 35 for Cub Fu. Awesome. And what else can we do around here? Uh, I don't see anything new just yet. There was a Skoruppy. We definitely already have. Ooh, and we're going to the one that's, that's a Barrascuda. I guess it's going for me. Probably want to switch over to Jazzy then, or Aracuda. I don't think it's part ground type, right? I don't think so. I think that's um, Barboche. Um, but we can definitely switch over. Um, don't catch you. Pokemon. Um, Jazzy. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, very interesting stuff for sure, but 
It's just sort of a little slow going when we see repeat Pokemon, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Ouch. So, awaiting your directions, let's fight. Just use a spark. Sounds good to me. Nice. Super effective. And, Aracuda's down for the count. So let's see how many more level ups that is. Just one for Cub Fu. Cub Fu wants to learn to move Iron Head, because of course he does. Um, this is a steel type move. The user slams the target with its steel hard head. This may also cause the target to flinch. I like that idea. I like this idea of having um, really good variety with things. So I think that that would be better than detect. I don't know, I guess we'll try it. Um, one, two, and ta-da. Cub Fu forgot detect and earned Iron Head instead. Sometimes it's tough that the Pokemon can only learn four moves, you know? Now you, seeing the, I don't have you though. Is Psyduck a Pokemon we have in this game? I don't think so. This is the evolution, Golduck. So we should try catching him if we have the chance, which I think we will. Um, Golduck's Cloud 9, the effects of weather disappeared. Yeah, we definitely don't have you, so we're just gonna quickly throw out a Quick Ball, just like that. And let's see what we get with this one. Please catch, please catch. Oh, yeah, there we go. Golduck was caught. So we still need to find Psyduck somewhere. But there's Golduck. And that is level 37 for Kev Fu. Definitely wanna get you to level 40 by the time we get over there. Um, Golduck State will be added to the Pokedex. It is a duck Pokemon water type. Old tales tell of Golduck punishing those that defiled its river. The guilty were dragged into the water and taken away. That sounds scary. Um, but interesting. Uh, let's keep going now as we head over. Oh, you're so cute, little mouse! I love how many different like electric rodents there are. It's Dedean. Dedene? Something like that. Oh, it's so cute! All right, um, let's go ahead and immediately try to catch you. Let's see how it goes. Oh, come on. Let's try to catch Dedene. Yeah, there we go. Very cool to see that for sure. So, that is gonna be level 38 for Kung Fu, level 82 for Tom, almost level 80 for Shawnee as well. Very awesome stuff. So, you know, let's see Dedenne here. Dedenne's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is an antenna Pokemon electric fairy type. Since Dedenne can't generate much electricity on its own, it steals electricity from outlets or other electric Pokemon. Interesting. So, just gonna send you to a box. I'm sure we're gonna have to evolve you at some point. That'll be fun. Uh, so we are heading the correct direction for finding everything. Whoa, Magnemite! That's another Gen 1. Don't have you, so definitely wanna catch you and you'll definitely be something we can evolve. So let's give this a try. Um, quick ball, just gonna throw it out real quick. And it looks like stocking up on those quick balls at the end of the last episode was worth, was worth our while for sure. There we go. Magnemite was caught. So, on top of all that, we, we get a tiny bit of experience. It's something, right? Um, Magnemite State will be added to the Pokedex. It is a magnet Pokemon electric steel. It subsists on electricity. As Magnemite flies, it emits electromagic waves, or electromagnetic <laughs> waves, uh, from the units on each side of its body. No nickname. Um, okay, cool. And who's over here? You, you're uh, Marill, I think. Yep, Marill, cool. So you're another water type, I believe. So cute. <laughs> this one's also like a little mouse. So let's throw out that quick ball, nice and easy, and see if it's another catch. I sure hope so. Ooh, there it is! All right, now Marill is also another one that could be evolved, so we'll be getting to that sooner or later. Um, but for right now, level almost 80 for Sean, but level 39 for Cub Fu. Glad to see it. And as you can see, Marill's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is an Aqua Mouse Pokemon Water Fairy. Even after Marill swims in a cold sea, its water repellent fur dries almost as soon as Marill leaves the water. That's why this Pokemon is never cold. Interesting. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. <laughs> okay, well, sending into the box for right now. I do wanna check. One thing, there's a Pokeball to grab right here. And then there is a bunch, oh, a bottle of zinc. A bunch of different uh, watts to get. A nutritious drink for Pokemon, when consumed, it raises the special defense base points of a single Pokemon. Whoa, it's the um, evolution of Buneary. 
with extra long ears now, it is low punny. So fancy. So obviously if I can catch it over evolving it, that's always a little bit easier. Um, it just takes slightly less time. So let's go ahead and throw out a quick ball. Whoop. And let's see what we can get. Wow, immediately jumping out of that one. That's a bit of a problem. High jump kick. Whoa. No, Kung Fu again. The poor guy. Okay, hold on. Let's use our next Pokemon. Um, I don't know what type it is, so once again, we're just gonna choose Dot. But I will once again revive Cub Fu, and then I will once again just try to catch this Pokemon. So, Pokemon, no wait, not what I needed. We're gonna go to the bag and see if we don't have any other revives. We should. Yeah, we have 14 of them. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're fine. There we go. Okay, so. They're gonna use high jump kick again. I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal this time. It's not really. Um, not what I wanted. Go back, back. And let's just try flame charge and hope this is enough. But not too much. Okay, that's great. That's so great. Um, Low Pony's cute charm. Dot fell in love. Aw. Um, used healing wish, but it failed. So. Let's go ahead and throw out an Ultra Ball. And let's see if we catch uh, Low Punny. We do. Awesome, Low Punny was caught. And as you can see, we can add that to our Pokedex. We get experience for everybody. Shawnee level 80, Cub Food level 40. Um, that's good to see. Really happy about that. Dynam dynamic Punch. Huh. 100 power, 50 accuracy. The user punches the target with full concentrated power. This confuses the target if it hits, but it's a rare hit, um, only half of the time. Sure, let's just give it a try. So there we go. Now he learns um, dynamic punch. And along with it, we get the Pokedex entry for Lopunny. Uh, rabbit Pokemon normal type. Once hot seasons are over, Lopunny's coat will be replaced with fur that holds a lot of insulating air in preparation for colder weather. Uh, no nickname for you. And we'll just send you two box. Wow, fantastic progress so far, and wow. We get, um, I think Staryu and the evolution of it? Sounds good to me. Let's give it a try. Uh, so yeah, Star you, and I don't know what the only one's called, but it is the evolution of it, so we'll just try to catch both of them right now. Um, so immediately throw out a quick ball. Sometimes these don't do the trick, but hopefully this time it will. Just don't jump out of there. Ooh, we got it. So there is Star you. This is really a great way to get experience and progress our Pokedex at the same time, so. Very nice, Cub Fu's almost level 41, but I got him at my goal, which was level 41, or 40. Uh, so, that's good. Star-shaped Pokemon water type. Fish Pokemon nibble at it, but Staryo isn't bothered. Its body regenerates quickly, even if part of it is completely turned off. Um, so no nickname for you. And we're just gonna send you to a box. But as we keep moving forward, I have been thinking about it, and I'm thinking that maybe we will change it. Maybe we'll go to the other dojo, because I'm trying to think, I'm like, what if you only get to use Cub Fu? Because that's the whole idea, right? It would sort of defeat the purpose if you used other Pokemon. Fighting is good against Dark, so maybe I should just try that one. Um, so maybe we'll turn around and change that up a little bit. Um, we know how to get over there anyways, so we've been having fun searching and it's been leveling up Cub Fu either way. I will go to these different dens though and get some extra watts first. Oh, you got out of it, I can't believe you. All right then, they're just gonna use Harden for right now. Um, so that might be a good opportunity for us just to, I could try to throw out another one. I don't think the second turn is gonna do much for us, but we'll try it. I don't know if we've ever called a Pokemon with a quick ball on the second turn. But we did it, nice. Okay, that's better than nothing. Starmie was caught. So yeah, Staryu evolves into Starmie. And we get level 41 for Cub Fu. So close to a couple of other level ups as well. So. With Starmie, mysterious Pokemon water psychic type, Starmie swims by spinning its body at high speed. As this Pokemon cruises through the ocean, it absorbs tiny plankton. Um, cool. So, gonna send you to a box. Really awesome to see all these Gen 1 Pokemon returning now, for sure. So while we made our way all the way to this dojo, I think I'm going to not do it for right now, but that's okay. There's 2,000 watts. Don't know what, oh, that's supposed to be a Sandy Gas, I think. 
Interesting. Um, so we'll go over here, get this last one, and then we are gonna go back over. Seems like it might be the best idea for right now. So if we go to the town map, um, I think the most productive thing would actually be to go over this way and go around. Actually, it might be the same difference, really. Same distance. So I'll try it. Because we were just there last episode. Oh, no. Wrong way. But I got a Pokeball. Yeah, go around like this. We were just there last episode when we were trying to show um, Cub Fu all the sights, really. It was a lot of fun. I just, I don't know what level we're supposed to have him at. Is level 40 good enough? I mean, to me, it seems like it's, it's great progress compared to what we were at, level 10 last episode, so. I don't know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. What was that Pokemon over here? We've already seen you, ah! Wait, oh yeah, this thing. I don't think I've gotten this. <laughs> so cute, it's a Dunsparce. So, let's go ahead and try this out a little bit. See if it's any better. Um just to throw out a quick ball right away and get something. Didn't work last time, the first try, but it might work this time. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. First throw, first catch for the Dunsparce. So I don't know what typing Dunsparce is, but we do get level 87 for Biggie. That's crazy, level 42 for Kung Fu as well. So exciting. And, Dunsparce's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is a land snake Pokemon normal type. The nests Dunsparce live in are mazes of tunnels. They never get lost in their own nests. They can tell where they are by the scent of the dirt. Cool, no nickname, but uh, yeah, that was, that's really cool to get another new Pokemon. Like we're really filling out the, the gaps in the Pokedex now, so that's, that's great. Um, got another wishing piece. That's just a really nice thing to get for free. So we would have to go up that way. So we're gonna ignore all these guys for right now, because we've done a good job with everything. I think we're good just to make some progress. We'll have, of course, more episodes dedicated to catching more Pokemon soon enough. And we'll be back. If we find out we don't have a high enough level of a Cub Chu or Cub Fu, um, then we'll come back, for sure. Actually, are you gonna trade? No, it's not worth it then. Yep, I'm completely positive, because we'll see whatever Pokemon you're talking about. This is where the Skarmories are, too. So exciting. And like, I don't know how to get over, oh, I thought that was up there. Nope, it's over there. That one looks cool as well. So we'll have to check that out sooner or later. But for right now, I'm just gonna go up this victory road, apparently. And here's a trainer. Let's take a look around, though. I already see one Diglett. And that is uh, six more left to find on Challenge Road, not Victory Road. Ah, okay. Oh, look at this, there's actually one back here. Cool. Um, And a Pokeball. A pair of black glasses, which I think we have some of those for Biggie. One over this way. This is TR95 Throat Chop. That sounds painful. The user attacks the target's throat, and the resultant suffering prevents the target from using moves that emit sound for two turns. Interestingly specific. Um, so yeah, let's go and try this out. Wow, it is tall. Let's give it our best shot, if, if it's just with Cub Fu. I don't know. Uh, hello, Zebra. Master has already sent word. This is the Tower of Darkness. It's a special training ground that only Cub Fu can use, so it looks like our intuition was good there. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Cub Fu is the only Pokemon on your team. Oh, do I have to come back? I guess I do. That's a little silly. You'd think it would just not let me use them or something. All right, well, I guess I'll be right back again. Oh, I missed a Diglett here. Okay, so I'm back with just Cub Fu. But here we go. Ta-da! That is going to be um, five more Diglett to find on Challenge Road. We'll continue looking for those soon enough, but for right now, I only have Cub Fu, so you should be able to let me in. And I really hope that our Cub Fu is high enough level. Like, how am I supposed to know, you know? It's a training ground where Cub Fu will learn the true essence of darkness. If you raise Cub Fu to at least level 70, its training will go smoothly. Once you enter the tower, you won't be able to leave until you best opponents or are defeated yourself. What's more, the tower wouldn't uh, you didn't choose will be close to you forever. Now, do you wish to forsake the path of water and follow the path of darkness? I do, but let's hold on for a second. Darkness or water, please return once you have chosen the path you wish to take. Here's where I'm a little confused. Um, what can we do to raise his level? Because you know that's gonna take me a while to get to level 70. I do have rare candy. It'll raise the level of a single Pokemon by one. So like, I don't think I want that too much. 
because that's only one level. So I don't think I'm gonna go for that. Um, instead, I think it might be better to do, I think we should have some experience candy down this way. I just really hope it's enough to get him to closer to level 70, because if not, um, it's just gonna take some time. So I have to find those experience candies. I have them around somewhere. Uh, here we go, experience candy, yes, I don't have much here. Um, go ahead and give you that one. Yeah, only 800. Uh, here we go, experience candy XL. Good, but I only have one of them. Wow, 30,000 though, whoa! Okay, level 46 is a pretty good good big jump there. Um, wait, what's happening now? Um, wait, oh, counter. Um, retaliation move that counters any physical attack, inflicting double the damage taken. Um, I don't know about that one. That one's a little bit more of a risk, so I think I will take a skip on it. I guess, hard to say. Uh, yeah, we did not learn counter. Do we have any other experiences? We have 13 experience candy L, and you know what? We're going all in. I'm gonna give them all of them. Just give them all 13 of them. Oh, we have 20 experience candies. Wow, 130,000 gets us to the level 58. Awesome. We have 20 experience candies M's. Um, close combat is another fighting type move. Oh, the user fights the target up close without guarding itself. The, this also lowers the, the user's defenses and, and special defense stats. Yeah, for 120 damage, that sounds great. I wanna keep Aerial Ace and, um, what was it, Iron Head or something? Um, just because I like the variety and just having different options just in case we're in a, you know, a big problem. Focus Punch, didn't we just unlearn Focus Punch? This user focuses his mind before launching a punch. The move fails if the user is hit before it's used. Ooh. Don't know if that's worth the risk. I feel like I'd mess it up almost every time. Um, I wanna take a pass on this one. And let's just go all in again with 20 experience candies M. There we go. 60,000 experience, so it's still not gonna get in the level 70. Isn't that crazy? Wow, so I'll have to do a lot of work myself here, but um, I'm glad that we got to get him that far. Um, so we'll keep working on it. We might not be able to get to the tower today. I don't know, it depends on how much more time it takes me to do those level ups. What's frustrating is I just put everybody away, so I'm gonna have to take them back out, just in case. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these will give us experience in that way. Um, hmm. All right, well, I could go camping with him a little bit too. That might give him some good experience, so. And it will just be me and him. So, you know what, let's try. I'll just go camping with Cub Fu a little bit right up here. Uh, but then after this, we have to probably get our team back out and start doing more battlings and stuff. Hey guy, guy, buddy, friend, um, come on over. He's just running over. A little awkward, just you and me, but eager to play, let's chat. Lots of attention, well it's just me and you, so you should be able to get it. Okay, so let's go ahead and play. Uh, we have this right here. Come back! What are you doing? Get back over here. Come on now. Oh, I can crouch. I didn't know I could do that. Ooh, here you go. <laughs> and you can switch sides. Whoa! <laughs> cool. Let's do this a couple of times. Wait, I don't know. Not what I wanted. Uh, toy. Let's try the ball. There you go. Go and get it. Are you gonna get it? Whoa, you knocked it right over to me. That's so cool. I, I haven't seen any of them do that before. Um, I want to change toys. Okay, you're going for it again. I really want to throw it this time. Whoop. There it goes. You can go get that. Okay, come on. He's gonna kick it back over. Gonna punch it back over. That's so cool, I love that. So I'll throw it at him one more time and then we'll make a nice, I don't know if he's gonna see that. Okay, toy, let's do this one. <laughs> Ooh. Keep your eye on it, there we go. Let's try some cooking. Um, Yep. And let's see if we can't do something we've never done before. Uh, we have never made something with uh, fruit bunch maybe, or mumuchi, I don't think so. Um, so yeah, let's do Mumu Cheese. And I really don't know if there's anything particularly we wanna do. Maybe we could just do like one of a bunch of stuff. So one cherry berry, 
One of these, one of those, just like one of everything. <laughs> Not of everything, we can't fit all that on there, but maybe this would be a good idea. Who knows? Uh, let's get started. Ooh, here we go. And the Moo cheese. So let's make the best um, thing we've ever made. <laughs> Hopefully. There we go, come on. Keep fanning those flames. I like how I can look around too. I'm like, ah, oh, it's too much! Come on, I'm just tapping the A button. Where is Kung Fu? Usually they, they check out what we're doing. Either way, we'll mix this up a bunch. Come on now. Oh, I, I think he's coming over now. We got his interest. He smells all the good food. But with this, I hope he gains at least a little bit of experience. That would be nice. Um, and, okay, could have done that better. That's fine. Ooh, what do we get? Done. So he's coming over now, right? Sweet cheese covered curry. Nice. <laughs> he looks so silly. Oh, hey, it's delicious. Wow. <laughs> it is a Copper Raja class sweet cheese covered curry. So um, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and head out for right now. And that is going to be 3,000 experience, not much, not much at all. So yeah, I guess we should just get back to battling and searching for everything. Um, I might wanna get my team out for that as we head back. But like, but like, if I can just also go for a Skarmory, that sounds fun. I thought this was a legendary Pokemon, maybe I'm wrong. I know we battled Skarmory in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. Awesome, so let's go for ya. So we are immediately going to throw out a Quick Ball to see if we can't catch Skarmory, that would be cool. Oh, I sure hope so. No! Oh, now we're in trouble. They're using spikes. If they do a one hit takedown, that's gonna be awful. Okay, well that just scatters the spikes on the ground. We're gonna try this one more time. We might have to run away. That's sort of the tough thing about having a one member on our team here. Please don't jump out this time. Please don't jump out this time. Please don't jump out. Yeah! Hey, Scarberry was caught. Nice. All right. So as you can see, that's gonna jump, not even another level up. I think we can get him to level 70 today, but it's gonna take all of our effort. Um, so armor bird Pokemon people fashion swords for, from Skarmory's shed feathers. Uh, so this Pokemon is popular element of heraldic designs. Interesting. Um, oh, I guess it's been out of my party now. <laughs> oh, better than nothing. Let's go ahead and get some stuff here. And then also this Diglett, go ahead and grab that. That's four more to find in this area. We'll look around a little bit, see if there's anything new to find as well. I'm sure there will be. Uh, here we go, we got something. Oh, it's a uh, it's a Slandit. Okay, so this is where, I don't really know if it's worth doing anything. We might just wanna run. Do we have anything that's strong against you at the least? Cause like, we're matching your levels now. Like, this stuff is all not very effective. I don't think that Skarmory is gonna have anything. Yeah, so, I have to run from this one. This is where it gets problematic but I can grab this Pokeball, I can get um, Muscle Band out of it, and another Diglett. Three more Diglett left to find. That's cool. What was that? Another Skarmory. <laughs> okay. What about down this way? I don't think I've gone this way. More Skarmory. What is that? Oh, this is what, um, what Master Mustard had, a Mind Fu. Or maybe a Mien Fu? I think it's Mind Fu. Um, I've never seen this Pokemon in a different Pokemon game before, so I wonder if uh, this is something new. I don't know how many new Pokemon are actually in Isle of Armor, but can we catch it? You bet we can. Alrighty then, Mindfu is caught. Very, very cool. And as you can see, 
It's a little bit of experience, but it's not much at all. It's crazy. Mindfoos data will be added to the Pokedex. Um, those small Mindfoos temperament is fierce. Any creature that approaches Mindfoo carelessly will be greeted with a flurry of graceful attacks. I'm starting to think we should maybe just cash out on all those, those candies that we have. We have a lot of rare candies right now. I know that I was saving those for when things get more difficult, but I don't know. I feel like everything else we're keeping up with just fine in this game. So, piece of am right. Or, that's good. A wishing piece, some energy right there. So you know what? Hey, uh, let's talk to you. Looks like we have a uh, digging ma here. Yeah, sure. So you're gonna give us an arm, or armorite, or just to start things off. And let's see what you end up getting us here. Does she immediately break her shovel again? She breaks her shovel so easily. She needs to invest in better shovels. Okay. Well, so be it. So yeah, you know what? I think we're just gonna go with that because I don't want to spend all of today's episode just doing this. I want to be able to move on with the story. Um, so if we go over this way, other items. We should have the rare candy level seven. We have 17 of them. I only need seven, so we'll still have 10 left over. Sure. And this is just a recommended level. So hopefully we can keep up with everything. That's 104,000 experience and boom, level 70. So let's hope that was a good idea. <laughs> let's really hope that was a good idea. Um, and yeah, let's, well I have to, the, the annoying thing now is I still have to go back. There's a blip bug. I don't know if we can fight you very easily. We'll, we'll see what our options are. If we can't, we're just gonna fly back. I'll get rid of the other team members we have now and then we'll go back to it. Um, super effective with the aerial ace, nice. Boom. And it's even a one hit takedown. Good job, Cub Fu. Starting to win in battle now. Glad to see it. And you know, it was okay. Uh, not really much at all. So, yeah, I'm going to go and just fly back and do the same thing I did before. Okay, so we're back again. He's at level 70. Let's give it a go. The Sour Darkness, yep, 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 we know. Um, to at least level 70 if you, if, you know, if you want everything to go smoothly. We have that now. We should be at a type advantage. So let's give this a try. There'll be no turning back once you've made your choice. Are you sure you want to climb the Tower of Darkness? I sh I'm sure. I can tell that your heart is set. The best of luck to you. So let's try this out and hope for the best and hope it doesn't go awful. And hopefully level 70 wasn't like the bare minimum. It's crazy what they expect me to do here though. Like just in, like, you know, oh, you do all this basic stuff. Okay, now get to level 70. Uh, but yeah, let's talk to this guy. Walking only a path of light will not help you broaden your perspective. You must learn to use both the light and the dark. Let me show you how. Oh boy. You are challenged by the Master Dojo student. I didn't heal Cub Fu before doing this. Maybe I should have. The Master Dojo student sent out Zora. Oh, that's so cute. I love Zora. Okay, so let's give this a go. So this is a dark type. Um, so we should be good with something like close combat. Um. And it's only a five level advantage too, so maybe we should start with something like Brick Break. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. Whoa, what a takedown, so we're fine, we're fine. Awesome. So Zora fainted. And that is hopefully, wow, really not much experience here. Um, light and Dark Side, you have certainly broadened my perspective. You got $5,000 for I'm glad that we're making some good money for this at the least. Well, there we go. Impressive, you can now proceed to the second floor. Okay, he doesn't have anything else to say beyond that. So yeah, going up here, what happens if I just try to, you know, <laughs> you cannot move to the third floor without a battle. All right, if you're sure. Uh, is there anything else in here, any kind of collectible? Doesn't look like it. Hello. Those strong in the darkness are also strong in the light. I have traveled the path of darkness and perfected my strength in light, behold. So another battle here, this time against the Master Dojo student. Nice and out Scraggy. Oh, that's so cute. Now Scraggy is, I'm pretty sure not a, a, a dark type. I think it might be a ground rock kind of thing. So we will try. Okay, so we've gone against it before. So we could actually save some PP here and just do Aerial Ace instead. I mean, maybe that wouldn't be the best idea because it's not the same type of attack damage, but it's almost a one hit takedown either way. They're gonna use low kick, ow. Is low kick something that attacks twice, it's not. 
Either way, that hurt a bit, but we're fine. I'll probably heal between rounds, to be careful. Um, but there we go. Super effective with all that as well. And, tiny bit more experience. Defeated the Master Dojo student. Yes, even my strength perfected in light can be can overshadowed at times. There's another good chunk of cash for winning as well. Awesome. Impressive, you can now proceed to the third floor. So let's quickly go to our bag and just use a normal potion on Cub Fu. Um, so let's look around for that real quick. Ah, super potion should do, do the trick, more or less. I have a lot of them, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so let's go to floor number three. I'm a bit nervous with how things are going, but so far we're keeping up just fine. We are all but lost travelers, feeling our way through the darkness around us. The results of battles are hidden in darkness until the bat battles are completed. That is the beauty of battling. Cool, I agree. Um, so, another Master Dojo student. That looks pretty intense. And he sends out Inkai. Now, Inkai is just a, a water type. We've gone against an Inkai before, so we should be able to see what's um, strong against it. Um, and it's all just normally effective. So, I mean, we should probably keep with Brick Break then. Oh, really good. Now they're using Night Slash. And that does a tiny bit of damage. Once again, we're not too worried about it. Um, and then fight, use a weaker move. That way, once again, I can start using the power points a little bit more distributedly. And there we go, in case down. Luckily, it's just been one Pokemon per battle. That definitely helps. The, now the darkness surrounds me, I am about to black out. <laughs> okay, how about you go sit down? Impressive, you can now proceed to the fourth floor. Once again, maybe we should use some potions. I just don't know what's gonna end up happening. Okay, we have some normal potions here. Good enough, two HP I don't think is gonna make a difference. Hopefully, now that I've said that, nothing falls apart. And let's talk to you. What, wind that carries a ship out to sea is wind that stalls a ship returning to port. What shines light on one path can also be what keeps another in darkness. Let us see if you can find your own path onward. I'll be trying my best. So, you are challenged by Master Dojo student, again. Crocorock, wow, look at you. Cool, I haven't seen this Pokemon. <laughs> no, I like him, he's fun. Um, so, I guess I can just try a fighting right away. Oh, but they use Protect. Does this go through Protect? Is that is this the move that does that? I think it is. No, okay, never mind. Um, try it again, Brick Break. I mean, luckily we have a two level advantage on you here, so that's at least something. Oh, and it's a one hit takedown, super effective, very nice. Okay, so it looks like you protected for nothing there. And that is going to be, once again, a little bit more of experience. It seems you have found your path and sailed right on course. Very nice. How many floors are there? Impressive, you can now proceed to the top floor. He is waiting for you there. Who is he? I don't know, I guess we'll find out who him is. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit nervous. We've climbed to the top of, oh, it's him again. Oh, hey buddy. There you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Darkness, so I decided to wait for you here. Zebra, Cub Fu, you've both done well to get this far. Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. A stream too clear is avoided by fish Pokemon. We all need some darkness in ourselves. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson on the essence of darkness. Oh boy, so is this like the final battle of the DLC? I wouldn't think so, but maybe. Whoa! Whoa! You were challenged by Dojo Master Mustard. It looks so cool now. Dojo Master Mustard sent out Cub Fu. Wow. Go on, Cub Fu, I know you can do it. Very cool. So it's Cub Fu versus Cub Fu. I'll need to get serious if I am to take you on. Own your senses now and let this battle sharpen you. Show me how you can grow. 
So it's level 70 versus level 70. What can we do? We can do with the aerial laser, which is super effective. Watch closely, Zebra. This is what Kabu's fists are truly capable of. So they used aerial ace as well. Hey, that was my idea. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. And it doesn't do nearly as much damage. I'm being cheated here. Um. Okay, so quickly, let's go to our bag. If I lose here, this is gonna be very embarrassing. So I really wanna make this happen. Um. So if we could find our hyper potions, we should have some. That'll do 120 HP healing, so it should get us exactly up to 180. They're of course gonna attack again, and that's where things might go a little south here. We're gonna have to wait and see. Are they just gonna do another? They do brick brace break this time. So this is maybe, why are they so damaging? Why, I we're the same level. No, no way. Oh my gosh. What do we do? Why was everything so easy up until this point? Oh my gosh. They gave me, they gave him $8,000 too. Wow, that was the first time I think I've ever lost a battle in this game. It seems you have stumbled on your little, a little on your path. Let us get poor Kubfu up, uh, healed up. Wow. Kubfu is back in fighting shape. May the shadow strengthen you as you face the Tower of Darkness. You know what? I'm using Russell's other rare candies. I haven't used them a single time before this. I might as well just go all in. I can't believe that though. The game has been so like lenient up until now. That's just crazy. So I, uh, my controller just got crazy again. That just happens every once in a while for some weird reason. We're gonna use the rest of the rare candies. Um, I just really wanna be able to get this done. So we'll just get them up to level 80. Hopefully that'll make a difference, but I don't know. Use this item right over here. Maybe we should give him something to hold as well. Uh, but there we go. Now he's gonna be at the level 80. That's 200,000 experience, which is crazy when you think about it. So that's pretty cool. Um, health feather, interesting. Resist feather, what is this one? I then to use it on a Pokemon. Um, it slowly increases the defense points of a single Pokemon. Hmm. Lots of different options, of course. Um, okay. Trying to just see what other things we can do here. Okay, um, I actually like the idea of King's Rock. That might be a really good one if we get lucky with it. So I'm gonna give King's Rock to you because that gives a chance of the other Pokemon flinching when we attack them. So let's get back into it and see if we can't just do it again. I'm probably just gonna count up to when I get to the top since you guys have already seen this, but hey, it'll make for some good experience for me at the least, I guess. So yeah, let's try it again. Um, I'm back, <laughs> I, you know, we're, we're 10 levels higher than we were before. You think that'd make a difference? But I don't know if he just has some severely highly, more highly damaging moves than we do, even though they're the same moves. Like, doesn't make any sense to me. Um, Pokemon could be weird that way. Either way, we'll just try Aerial Ace on you again, and maybe we can just beat you to the punch. Yeah, okay, as long as we get to attack first, that's what I'm talking about. It did not make you flinch. Watch closely, Zebra. This is what Kung Fu Fists are truly capable of. If I can just attack you one more time, they're gonna also do Aerial Ace. Yeah, basically it's the same battle flipped now. Ha 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 ha. So. Gonna fight you with an aerial ace, and now we should get you. There we go. <laughs> That's all I wanted. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, so as you can see, we gain experience, not a lot. Um, and we defeated Dojo Master Mustard. Nice. Okay, well he seems pretty happy. You young folk grow so fast, it never ceases to amaze me. 14,000 for one, that at least makes up for some of the stuff that we lost before, so that's good. Um, and there we go. What a team. Impressive, most impressive. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Fist bump. He's so excited, I love him. <laughs> All right then. So what happens now that we've claimed the tower? I guess we'll find out. Fwahaha, <laughs> I knew you were worthy of my trust, Zebra. You've done well, very well indeed, in raising Kubfu to this level of strength. Leon was once my best student, a long time ago. He too attempted this trial. But he never made it to, the, to either tower. He got lost along the way. <laughs> Of course he did. <laughs> now it is finally time for Kubfu to evolve. Go and show Kubfu the scroll of darkness. Kubfu is ready now. 
Wow, the Scroll of Darkness. Let's go and figure this out then. Go and show Kofu, okay, yeah. Uh, sure, here it is. Wow. Do you want to show Kung Fu the Scroll of Darkness and have it evolve? Why wouldn't I? Uh, all right, Kung Fu. Mm, bear, mm. Ba bear So I guess after reading that, it just evolves. Wow, cool. What, Kung Fu is evolving. Here we go. So, what, so I would have evolved into something else if we went to the other tower. Cool, look at this. So I guess it also is part dark type now. Congratulations, your Kung Fu evolved into Urshifu. Wow. Would you look at that. Urshifu's data will be added to the Pokedex. It is a Wushu Pokemon fighting dark type. Single strike style. Inhabiting the mountains of a distant region, this Pokemon races across sheer cliffs, training its legs and refining its moves. Wow, I like it. Urshifu wants to learn the move Wicked Blow. Sure. So what is Wicked Blow? I'm guessing a dark type move. Yes. Um, the user, having mastered the dark style, strikes the target with a fierce blow. This attack always results in a critical hit. That's pretty cool then. So, um, yeah. Let's see what we can do about that. Um, if it's always a critical hit, it's 80 damage. Maybe that's better than having the Iron Head. Maybe I just don't need a steel type move. Um, I think so. I think we'll take that, that exchange. So fighting is good against dark type, so that means we'll be in a bit of a problem if we fight other fellow fighting types from here on out, but I guess we'll see how things go then. It's a little weird, but I don't know. Behold, before you stands Urshifu. Sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it. And it has mastered the style of darkness. Be dark. Oh, I thought that was him. <laughs> okay, that was him. Um, ha, you, you've certainly grown, haven't you? And to think not too long ago, you would have run and hid behind me at the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow always brings joy to my heart. Zebra, Urshifu, thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me when I was taking the battle seriously. You got Monster's lead card, cool. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. Very cool. He's so tall now. Such talent and strength. Perhaps the time has come. Oh, what do you mean? Guess we'll have to find out. The adventure to your heart, adventure to your heart's content. The Gower region is something. So that is so cool. We did it. We were able to get Urshifu, or I guess um, Kubfu into Urshifu. He's new, our new friend now. Look at that. Big, tall, powerful, I love it. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor DLC. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.